I really don't need to say the fact that Pokemon is iconic. I don't really need to say the fact that Pokemon was inspired by many things in the real world. One of those inspiration is from the hit series, Dragon Ball Z. And I'm here to test the waters. I'm here to see if I can go in over 20 years of Pokemon entertainment and see if I can find things that are Dragon Ball related. Now, guys, speaking with 20 years of information, I might not get everything, but I'm gonna try my best. Where most people would think to compare Pokemon and Dragon Ball is with the Pokemon itself. Will Pokemon resemble Dragon Ball Z characters? Well, I'm here to tell you. Lucario, if not obvious enough, Goku. But Mega Lucario might be Super Saiyan 4. I don't think it's Super Saiyan, nor do I think it's Super Saiyan God, but with the beast of everything and also the puff up, I'm thinking Super Saiyan 4. Luxray, purely on the hair. That's my boy, Vegeta. That is my boy, Vegeta. Chansey is, you know, big, pink, can heal. Majin Buu, pink, little big, can heal. Just to only heal Mr. Satan, but he can heal. Obvious resemblance. Rekraza is a smaller, downgraded version of my boy Shenra. Green, long, scaly dragon. Too bad Shenron doesn't have a mega form, though. Oh, wait, he kind of does. Purunga, who I think looks like Thunderous. I know there's a reference you can see with the arms, the fact that they were kind of like in the stature of like looking down on you. Sure, people are going to probably say it looks like Zeus, which more or less I think they're right. But who knows? Possibly. And of course, the one that every single man, woman, child would obviously get first viewing. Mute. Be my man freeze. Though Mewtwo did go in this different route with his Mega Evolutions, not copying and going golden. Granted speaking, I'm pretty sure the Mega Evolution came out before Golden Frieza. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not really sure on the whole date stuff. But wouldn't it be crazy if Mewtwo goes golden one day? Alright, if you're still wondering, saying like, is he really talking that Lucario is Goku? Sure, he may be able to sense aura. Sure, he may be able to do an aura speed that looks like the Kamehameha. But that doesn't really make him Goku, right? He doesn't even look like Goku. You know what? You're wrong. There are two Pokemon that are inspired by Goku. I give you my boy, my favorite Pokemon of all time. Infernic! Who's also the most iconic moment in Pokemon history. Blaze! Coming up like the burning fire, ashes of never giving up, personified in Pokemon, ready to make his last stand against the bitch Electivire. From the scream to the yell, to the power up he received, to his flamethrower literally looking like a final flash in a way, to ending it with a giant explosion. Man, it's hard not to remember that moment. But I will be remiss if we were talking about the anime, not to mention the obvious Kamehameha <laughs> with Ash and Pikachu combining their powers to make the ultimate sacrifice. Well, maybe not sacrifice. They were making their last ditch effort to beat Professor Kukuri and claim their first win in their whole entire life. It might have said the fact that, you know, maybe he didn't say like, ha ah, at the end. Instead, they just... But with that one being a move that in the games doesn't really look like the Kamehameha, you gotta look at the games. You gotta really see the animations of what they do to see like what moves could you say was inspired by Dragon Ball's repertoire of moves. Obvious ones would be like Hyper Beam being like Final Flash. Solar Beam being more like the Kamehameha. Shell Smash being the Kaioken. Then you go all the way to Sun and Moon and a little bit of Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. You get Z Move. The one time hopefully gonna KO your opponent's great animated look. Well, I would say great animated made it but then we look at the 3ds and we're like they need more time to make this look good but no matter what there are still moves that carry out a cinematic finisher and most of them if not some of them have to be taken from dragon ball inferno overdrive basic as it may be just one big giant fireball launched at your opponent a big fireball is also similar to like a big giant key blast and a big giant key blast has a launch at your opponent that's supposed to destroy it it's basically the big bang attack just on fire all out pummeling can be taken in many, many ways. I took it as, wow, is that the Dragon Fist? Oceanic Operator is when you collect all the energy, all the water in this case, making a giant orb of destruction. And of course, that's basically Spear Bomb. Black Hole Eclipse, making sure everything around you is sucked up together and then enveloped to an ultimate devastating attack. What I'm gonna compare it to in Dragon Ball can't really be said as an attack, but it was used in a way to try to finish a fight. And that's when Garlic Jr. and try to see a Goku and Piccolo into the negative zone. Are both moves just a black hole? Yes. Are both moves doing damage? Not exactly. One move is doing damage while the other move is swapping the arenas. But one move I can guarantee is immediately a Dragon Ball reference is Splintered Storm Shark. Surrounding your opponents with deadly objects ready to pounce on them the second they make a move. Then you do pounce on them. You come together and then boom! And then they're destroyed and obliterated. I wonder if that looks like Hell Zone Grenade. Piccolo firing the beams trying to confuse Android 17 
scene, making him wonder what the fuck is he doing. Then, catching him in his bear trap and attacking. Only if he didn't have the barrier, Andrew 17 was toast. Unlike most Pokemon, they can't really use a barrier on a Z move. And a part of me really wants to say that this is like, oh, obviously, the Dragon Ball reference. We see this in Dragon Ball Super Superhero. But then I look at the dates and I actually think, I'm not dumb. I can clearly see that Dragon Ball must have taken a little bit of inspiration from Pokemon. Light that burned the sky. And that's, unironically, Cell Max's finishing move. Not in the name, but definitely in the look. Charging up a big ball of energy, condensing it down to its little microscopic point. Maybe not microscopic, but definitely small enough to where you can toss it and aim it. And if you think that's my last thing that I have to offer you, you're wrong. I got this one last tidbit that took me a while to find. In Pokemon X and Y, Robert, on Route 10, references a quote that every Dragon Ball fan knows. Wow, you and your Pokemon power levels are amazing. They were not. 9,000! For sure. Please someone fact check that because I saw that on Reddit and I realized that could be real or that could be fake. I'm not too sure. But until next time, thank you for watching and you guys stay safe and peace.